It's like the legend of David and Goliath. Our tester, Matis Kurat, pits Daimler's smallest car, the Smart for two, against the company's biggest vehicle, the Actros. Hey! Hey, get your sardine can out of the way, he says, testing the truck. He wants to get by. In the Smart, he refuses to let the truck by. It's way too harmful for the environment and takes up too much space. Harmful to the environment, takes up too much space. Yeah, right. Of course, such a big truck needs a lot of fuel. When it's fully loaded, the average consumption is just under 30 litres. But if the cargo is taken into account, it's about a litre a tonne. All the Actros engines comply with the latest Euro 6 emission standard. And a truck like this doesn't really block the road. Well, maybe sometimes. But if all the truck's cargo was loaded onto smart cars with their maximum payload of 250 kilos each, there'd be whole lines of cars taking up more space on the highway and guzzling even more fuel. OK. All right, so apparently the Actros is not as harmful as all that, he concedes, but this electric drive Smart for two doesn't use gas at all. It's electric drive, der verbraucht überhaupt keinen Sprit. Ja, ja. Hmm, that's all well and good. But what if you need to carry baggage or transport goods, he asks himself. Mit deinem smart electric drive ein bisschen Gepäck mitzunehmen? Ich fahre immer schön. I always take my smart shopping, he says. Smart. Ja, und dann. You can only buy two bananas and an apple, because no more will fit in, he retorts. To be fair, the smart's trunk is not that small. It has a cubic capacity of at least 220 litres, enough for a whole case of water and a battery charger cable. Not bad, but that's nothing compared to the Actros. It has two luggage compartments on the driver's side. And another one on the passenger's side. There's also a great deal of space above the front windshield, over a thousand litres in total. And if that's not enough, there's also 30 cubic metres in the cargo area. Verdammt. So, the Actros wins again. And the driver tells the Smart to make way. But back in the Smart, he refuses, pointing out it's much more comfortable to drive. But as the truck driver, he wants proof. The Smart's interior has everything you need for everyday driving. A couple of storage compartments. A bottle holder. An optional smartphone holder electric windows, battery level indicators, a speedometer and, in the convertible version, a huge soft top. The smart electric drive is powered by a 55 kilowatt electric motor. The maker says it has a range of 145 kilometers. However, the light, windshield wipers, air conditioning and radio, which are all electric powered, can reduce the radius of action. In Germany, the convertible version has a starting price of 22,000 euros. What are you yawning for, he asks. It's great. He agrees, but then offers to show off his work and living space. The Actros has loads of interior space. Moreover, the driver has a six-litre fridge within range and a table can be pulled out in front of the passenger seat. And there isn't just one bed for a quiet night's sleep on the motorway parking lot, but two. There's an integrated level to help set up the bed and even a reading lamp. The Actros 1851 boasts 12.8 litres of cubic capacity and 2,500 newton metres of torque. Its 820 litre fuel tank allows drivers to cover a distance of 3,000 kilometres without having to stop for a fill up. Okay. 
And moreover, he says, just in terms of coolness, the truck beats the smart hands down because it has two beds incorporated if he gets lucky at a nightclub. But there's no way this weight of a truck would ever find a parking space near a nightclub, so what's the point? Although the Actros comes with all kinds of bells and whistles, there's no way to beat a smart when it comes to parking. And the smart has another advantage. What exactly? Just follow me, he says. He's intrigued. In a battle such as this, it's all about outwitting the opponent, not about who's strongest or biggest. What's going on, he asks. All he had to do was follow. There's a two-metre height restriction. Once again, the smart is simply the better car. Hang on, he says. I'll show you who's got the better car. You just need to know how. Once an actress, always an actress. So, and jetzt pass auf, jetzt komme ich hier. Mit dem Actros And there he goes, outsmarting the smart by getting an Actros into an underground parking lot. <laughs> 